What's up guys, Coach Daryl back with you guys today to talk to you guys and show you guys some basics of the dumbbell one arm row. Now when I do dumbbell rows, I'm gonna use a bench or a box somewhere to place my hands when I do the row. A lot of people, you know, you see people doing rows in the gym, they got a knee on the bench, they got a hand on the bench and they're rowing. Now that's an okay position. I like to teach people a little bit different when they row. I always like to uh, show people how to only put a hand on a bench, get your weight from this shoulder over your hand, little soft bend to the knees, butt out, nice flat back. Now, I have my dumbbell set up here. When I pick my dumbbell up, I wanna get my shoulders square to the floor. When I row, what I'm trying to do is drive my elbow back, squeeze my lats, and bring my shoulder blade in. Okay, now, I'm going to pull this dumbbell into my cage right underneath my armpit here. So I'm gonna pull, get a nice squeeze, and then it's gonna be a nice controlled lowering phase of the row. A lot of times you see people doing rows is they start to put a little too much English on that row, and you'll see this shoulder dip, twist, turn, and it's like this big yank motion, like they're trying to start a lawnmower. I always like to start people off when they row, nice controlled movement. So hand on the bench, stomach is engaged, weight from the shoulder, is over this wrist, nice square shoulders, and I row, and then I control the motion down here. Okay, so it should be a nice smooth movement to start. Now, lots of different ways to do rows, lots, lots of different grips that you can use. I always like to start with that neutral hand position on it, okay? Um, just some basic pointers of that row. If you guys have any other questions about it, or how you guys can vary this, please let me know, and I'd be more than happy to answer any questions you guys have. We'll talk to you guys soon. Have a good day.